to let the sex come first. Before we think of things to say, before we dive into our most inner thoughts, let's get the fucking out the way. See, for me, bad dick is a deal breaker. No matter if you're smart or you're fine, so before I invest my energy into you, I need to know if it's worth my time. So we might fuck soon as we meet. Once, twice, maybe three in a row. Then if that chemistry is there, we can begin to get to know. Because the pressure of leading up to the physical is something that I can't take. And the past that I made the mistake of investing in men that can't make me shake. So I need to know if my body can fuck with you. Before you introduce to my spirit, because if you want to talk after you fail to make me come, I ain't even trying to hear it. See, with most women, they pussy is they only possession. They make men work before they lay, be selective with who they let touch their bodies, but then give their hearts away. My prize possession is my energy too. This vibe is rare to find, so you can penetrate my body before you get into this mind. And the best things about me have nothing to do with the things that I can do with the bed. I might let you get into my drawers, but never let you get into this head. Plus, I've seen it too many times, these women that want to make men wait, thinking that playing a good girl role will somehow guarantee their fate. And then once he get what he want, he going like a thief in the night. And your asses be DMing me crying, talking about, Kara, I did everything right. <laughs> As women, we make sex this huge ordeal when that's not always the case. Because sometimes it is about starting the future. But sometimes it's just about riding his face. And if you get sex out the way early on and he doesn't go to get distant, that means he wasn't just trying to use you for sex. He might actually be consistent. Because if you fuck him and he changes up, then you know what he was there for. But if he stays around, then it's possible that it could mean something more. But someone told me I have to be very careful with who I let in between my thighs because it's never solely physical when you factor in them soul ties. But here's the thing. Regardless of what you've been led to believe when it comes to men, they don't automatically get access to your soul. You have to invite them in so I could fuck you till the sun comes up and let you into deep in my lady parts. But having access to this pussy don't give you access to this heart. And I'm not trying to minimize the power of that physical connection, but I'm also not about to act like giving him your heart is the same as giving him an erection. Because this perception of equating love to sex is a mentality that is dated. Yes, we've tied the two together, but they're not naturally related. See, someone could love you from the best parts of their soul and never want to lay you down. And a man could want to do all kinds of nasty shit to you and not want you to stay around. So this idea that sex has to be something special is a rule that I can't fathom because sometimes I want the love, but other times I just want to orgasm. And that doesn't make me heartless, nor do I think guys are only good for sex. I just don't put too much pressure on that part. I'm more concerned with what comes next. So here's to the grown-ups doing grown-up things. Everybody can't relate, but if you're single and you're open-minded, I'm down to fuck on the first date.